Hi, I'm Eric from Livesnoot Media, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new media mod for the GoPro Hero 8. Included in the box is the user manual and warranty information, as well as an additional GoPro mount. Now before we even received this product, GoPro said that a firmware update would be required to use the media mod, so that's something that we've already done. On the top we've got a cold shoe mount, a power button, and a grill for the microphone. On the other side we've got another cold shoe mount and on the bottom we've got the cutout for the GoPro's mounting fingers. On the back we've got another grill for the microphone, a 3.5mm audio jack, a USB-C connector and a micro HDMI port. Now to get started you're going to have to take off the GoPro's battery door. Because you have taken off the GoPro's battery door it does mean that this setup is not waterproof. To connect it simply slide in your GoPro, make sure the USB-C goes into the port and then clip the door shut like that. Now, before I even switch this on, one thing I'm not happy with at all is the way GoPro have implemented this cutout for the mounting fingers. GoPro really should have given the media mod its own mounting fingers because it's very difficult to try and get the GoPro's ones out because of the cutout. Before you can use the media mod, like I said, you will need a firmware update, so make sure you've got Wi-Fi or 4G, otherwise you won't be able to start using it straight away. Prior to the Media Mods firmware update, GoPro released another firmware update, and that enabled Hypersmooth in Linear. And that was really good for vloggers, combined with the GoPro's excellent image stabilization and its small size. I can imagine digital content creators are going to absolutely love this. There's no complicated user interface to use this Media Mod, and in a sense, I kind of wish for a professional product there were slightly more options. All you've got is a very simple selector to choose which microphone you want to prioritize. There's an option for the front mic, an option for the rear mic, and then a stereo setup. Now those of you that use ProTune a lot will know that there is a raw audio option built into the GoPros, and while that's not the miraculous 24 or 32 bit that you get with the sound device recorders, it'll definitely give you a lot more options for editing in post. Okay, so time for a bit of a short real world test. I've got a very traditional vlogging setup over here. We've got the Rode VideoMic Pro on a 90D and a 10 to 18. And then I've got the GoPro Hero 8 with the brand new media mod attached. I've also gonna set up another Hero 8 over there on the tripod. So you can have a listen to what the sound quality like difference is between a normal Hero 8 and then one with a media mod. So there you go guys, have a little listen to both microphones. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. And we'll definitely make an update video with some more real world situations. I'm particularly interested in seeing how the media mod fares in the wind. Now of course there's no dead cat or foam on it, but it'll be interesting to see how it sounds. So thank you very much for watching this week's video on the GoPro media mod. Let us know in the comments down below if you've got any questions or suggestions about this thing and we'll definitely make a follow-up video next time.